Namibia was never blacklisted, nor was it ever referred to as a tax haven by the European Union. These were the words of Jana Hibaskova, the European Union ambassador to Namibia, in response to why Namibia was placed on a list of countries that had not responded to questions from the European Union about their tax legislations. This is a total misunderstanding. Nothing of this sort happened. And if you would read this document, you will see that there is not such a list of countries like tax havens. And Namibia was not listed as a tax haven. This must be made very clear. To be constructive and to be productive, and this is why we, European Union delegation, are here, is that I will say what we are asking Namibia to do. We are asking Namibia, or encouraging, encouraging, inviting to join the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes and to sign, ratify and participate in the OECD Multilateral Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance on Tax Matters. Yesterday, the Minister of Finance, Kalish Leidvan, held a press conference where unfortunately some private media houses such as One Africa Television were not invited. He criticized the listing, referring to it as unjust and biased. He did, however, confirm that they had failed to comply with the deadline. We are not asking, we are not tasking, okay? We are inviting you to consider. This is the language used. There's no other language. We did not say, we urge Namibia. No one, we ask Namibia, no, please consider. This is the language. Yeah, but still, the question is yeah, the question is, and I will please give you the page number 16, 2.2, you can Google it and you can verify. Existence of tax regimes that facilitate offshore structures which attract profits without real economic activity. This is tax heaven. Countries named here. And I read to camera, Bermuda, Cayman Islands, Guernsey, Isle of Land, Man, Jersey and Vanuatu. There is no word Namibia mentioned. With regards to local EU projects worth 70 million euros, Ibaskova said that they will not be affected by this development. If Namibia is a part of Global Forum and some unknown international legal entity coming from wherever, and I do not want to name any of tax havens, wants to use and misuse Namibian tax system, it can happen. If Namibia would be a part of Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes, it will not be harmed. And this is what we invite and hope that Namibia will come to do. She further assured that Namibia will be delisted immediately after complying, but this has to be done before June 2019 when sanctions will be pulled in. For Judean One, I'm Joseph Shifeni.